Alright, welcome back to Audio Describe Gaming. I'm your host, Matt, playing some Skies of Arcadia. So we just got the Little Jack as a ship. We got Drachma on our team. So I'm back in the open sky. I'm going through that underpass that I found uh, earlier. And we're heading for Sailor's Island. So it looks like it's a town. It's a bit bigger than Pirate Isle, but it's still like a small town, and there's a lighthouse there. But I just got stopped by another small ship, uh, smaller than the Little Jack, about the size of my first ship that I got. Hmm, can I help you? This ship here is a free medical vessel. Are you here for treatment? You sick or something? No, we're fine. We were just passing through the area and saw your ship. We figured we'd come and see who you were. Wait a second. Your clothes, your weapons, your eye patch. You guys are air pirates. You're just in time. There's something I want to ask of you guys. Please, come inside. So this is a side quest that I can do. So I'm on their ship. Ika and I have boarded it. And there's a doctor with a white lab coat and short hair. He's got a little dot on his forehead. I guess he's from Nasser. And then there's a little girl with big, poofy blonde hair. I apologize for the abruptness. I know you don't really need my services and have no need to stay, but I have a favor to ask of you. But first, let me, let me introduce myself. The name's Doc, or that's just what everyone calls me. I'm a free doctor. I don't have a country to call home. But that lets me live the way I want to. So I fly the skies and heal sick and injured sailors wherever the winds take me. Oh, yeah, and the little girl with the poofy blonde hair, she's wearing a gray dress with pink trim, and she's got, like, some little duck chick, like she's holding it. This is Maria. She's a little quiet and shy, but she's a good kid. Right, now what was it you wanted to ask us to do? Huh, direct and to the point. I like that. But here, take this lens. It's sort of related to what I want to ask you. So it's like a fitting for my eye patch. That thing's called a moon lens. It's a special lens made from moonstones. With it, you can see things you wouldn't normally be able to. Here, put the lens on and look where I'm pointing. Alright, so let's see what happens when I put it on. Hmm, there's some glowy thing floating in the air. Whoa, there's something. Some sort of creature right there. It looks like a, f like a weird little fish baby, and it changes color, all the different colors of the moons, and it's got like a little anglerfish lure on its head that glows. It's a moonfish. They're tricky little fellows to catch because they're, well, transparent. You can only see them using that lens. Which brings me to the favor that I wanted to ask of you. I want you to find as many of these moonfish as you can and bring them back to me. They tend to nest in populated areas for whatever reason, so check towns and dungeons. But they try to keep out of most people's ways, so look in hard to reach areas like behind buildings, under bridges, rooftops. Oh, one more thing. Whenever you're near a moonfish, the moon lens I gave you will react and make a sound, so pay attention. Okay, so I use this lens to see the little guys. How in the six moons am I supposed to catch them? It's pretty easy, actually. Here, let me put the moon lens into your goggles. When I'm done, you can use it when you go into first-person point of view. Once you find a moonfish, a target will appear. Line it up with the moonfish. And when you got the moonfish in your sights, press the A button. And here you go. The lens was a perfect fit. So I caught the moonfish. Well, sounds easy enough, right? Actually, the reason for all this is a bit strange. A little bird got lost and found its way to my ship. I decided to take care of it for now, but I just don't get what this bird's problem is. He refuses to eat anything other than moonfish. But for whatever reason, Maria seems to have really grown attached to the critter, so I do what I can to keep it happy. It's sort of my responsibility to take care of Maria. Anything she wants, I provide. Of course, there's only so much I can do. But I can't leave my ship. I can't leave Maria here all alone. That's why I'm asking you for this favor. Of course, I will compensate you adequately. Bring me lots of fish, and I'll give you items in return. So please, if you find any moonfish, bring them to me. I will be eternally grateful. All right. Well, a little nice little side quest. But let me head back to Sailor's... Uh, I'm going to head to Sailor's Island. There should be moonfish near or on Sailor's Island. I'm sure if you look hard enough, you can find them. Be sure to check on top of roofs and behind buildings. Check everywhere using your first-person point of view. Good luck! Alright, so I'll describe Sailor's Island once I'm docked. So like I said, small town, bigger than Pirate Isle, but still kind of small. And it has this nice, quaint little English portside town look to it, like something you would see in, like, Treasure Island or something. Um, so nice. Wow, so this is Sailor's Island. I've never been here before, but I can already tell this place is lots of fun. Yep, I think I'm going to like it here. 
Good. After I restock my supplies here, I'm leaving again. You two can stay here. Huh? Hey, wait a second. We have no ship. Are you planning to just strand us here? <laughs> I've got to find Rakanam, and in the meantime, I have to find a cannon that's powerful enough to destroy him. I've no time to waste with you kids. You two can resolve your own problems. Looks like he's going into a tavern. This is just great. He's not listening to anything we're saying. I wonder if there's anything that'll make the old man change his mind. Maybe we can dig up some information. Let's go around town and see what we can find. Alright, so Drachma's no longer in my party. Alright, so... Ooh, there's these two guys talking. Lately, the Valuan Empire's been expanding at an astonishing pace. I can't help but worry. They say this man called Lord Galcian, who commands the Armada, is responsible for their success. Let's see, there's another guy here. Kind of gloomy emo guy dressed in a purple overcoat. His name's Lawrence. I've got no use for you. If you don't have any money, don't bother me. Alright, so let's head to this building. This is the Sailor's Guild. This is pretty important. Good way to make money. So it looks like there's a bunch of books here. And then there's a, uh, there's a guy here with a monocle. This is the Sailor's Guild. You can get information about ships and general sailing tips here. We also purchase information on discoveries made throughout the world. So if you've made any discoveries, just let us know. We'll pay you handsomely for the information. Don't forget to check out the wanted list to see who else is causing trouble around these parts. Alright, so I think I discovered a few things. Yeah, the Pirate's Grave. Nice. Let's see, is there anything I can buy? An ancient guidepost. Let's see what it says. There's a small island north of Sailor's Island in mid-ocean. You can't miss it. Alright, I'll have to check that out. The wanted list. Baltor the Blackbearded. Bounty 1,000 gold. Well, I don't have a ship, so I can't really do anything about that. See, there's an old man here. He looks like he's from Nasser, so they wear these, like, big overcoats and these uh, hats with kind of, like, um... I don't know, think like Link's hat with a little pouch that goes uh, that goes off to the side. Hmm, what to do? What to do? Mm, I can't deal. Uh, I can't do anything for him just yet. Let's head to the tavern, the one Drachma went into. I'm not gonna talk to him, but there's a couple other people here. Let's see. There's this lady cleaning. What's her name? Anne. Come right in. Welcome to Polly's place. The specialties of the house are steam-baked maracas and ocean-style meat pies. And then there's Polly's own special mistral loqua. Oh, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Polly's daughter, Anne. Hope to see you around. So she's got red hair, freckles, and like big lipstick. So let's talk to Polly. She is behind the tavern here. So she's... Uh... Let's see, she's got like green eyeshadow, kind of penciled on eyebrows and big red lipstick. And she wears like a bandana over her, he her head to like pull her hair back. You must be new around here. I don't recognize your face. Well, I hope you make yourself at home here. My tavern is your tavern. Alright, and then there's a lady here with blonde hair. This island is a gathering spot for sailors and traders. Keep your ears open and you'll hear all sorts of interesting rumors and information. Alright, well, you know, I'm gonna buy some stuff, so there should be a weapon shop around here somewhere. So let me head into the town proper. See, that looks like an item shop. Uh, it's got pictures of scales on the front. There's one... Oh, there's a moonfish nearby. Anyway, there's one that's got a picture of a ship's steering wheel on it, so that's you. That's a place to go buy parts for your ship. I'm not quite there yet. I don't. Like I said, I got no ship. keep looking hmm there's a lighthouse up here let me check out the lighthouse gonna climb the ladder up to the top of it maybe there's something here I can get treasure or whatever so I found out this game is insanely hard to complete, from what I've heard. Oh, what's that? There's a bottle here. Oh, there's a balloon. wonder what it's doing in here. Wait, there's a bottle attached to it, and there's a note inside. Ketya, please send, please send warriors to help us fight against the evil. Ketya, please send, war please send warriors to help us fight against the Valuans. Whoa, I wonder who wrote this. Sounds like they're in trouble. Whoever it is, I should probably keep it just in case. 
Alright, so I got a note in a bottle. Interesting. There's nothing else up here, but I guess that's important for a side quest. Anyway, so I found out this game is extremely hard to complete in full, because in order to get, like, the full title... Like, uh, essentially your title comes from doing different things, like discovering things, fighting battles... You have to do everything, and that even includes getting all of the treasure chests. Uh, ain't nobody got time for that. So, I probably won't fully complete this game. So, I'm gonna see if I can find out where that moonfish is. And there's no way to get it at this point, I don't think. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like there's a weapon shop here. There's a picture of a sword on this building, and there's a guy rolling around on the ground here. It's so good to be on solid ground. Oh, lovely ground. Oh, sweet solid ground. It feels so good just to be able to roll around like this. Ah, oh, nothing beats being on solid ground. No more rolling motion, no more tilting. It's so beautiful. Alright, so let's head into the weapon shop. Let's do some buying and selling. Oh, there's a little fat kid with a beanie. I'm Pinta, and I travel the skies looking for all sorts of equipment. So he's this little kid that wears blue armor, and he's got his jacket open, so his belly's just hanging out. And he's got a big wrench uh, that he's got on his back. I live my life searching for exotic and rare things. My dream is to collect all the rare items in the world, every last one of them. Wow, all the items in the world. You got big dreams for such a little fella. My dream is to sail all around the world someday. I know just how you feel. We both have really big goals. I think we'll get along just fine. You're a dreamer like myself. Yep, we both got big dreams, and now we just gotta concentrate on making our dreams come true, right? Of course. Well, you take care. Don't be a stranger if you're ever in town again. Alright, so there's... The weapon shop owner is this huge, muscular, bald guy who's flexing a lot. So let's talk to him. Welcome. This is a weapon and armor shop. Alright, let's uh, buy and sell some weapons. So, hmm. To, so, I, there's nothing new for Ica, but I can get a new sword for Vice. And looks like a hook hand. I'm going to take that for... Uh, actually, I'm going to buy two... Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to buy one piece of armor for Vice. One piece of armor for Ica. Um, looks like I do have enough for that new... Uh, let's see, raises attack power. I'm just trying to see what else I want to buy. I'm going to buy that new weapon for Drachma. I'm going to get him back on my team eventually. Alright, so let's sell my old weapons. And my old armor. So I do have enough for a few accessories. So let me buy this one that increases my attack power. I'm going to equip Ica with it. It seems like a better fit for her. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, this guy's got a big toothy smile. All right. So it looks like there's an inn here, so let's head in there and see if there's anything I can do. Oh, save point. Actually, this is a good point as any to stop. So I will see you guys next time. This is so fun.